Hey, good morning, church. I pray all is well with you this morning uh, as we begin our Bible study on Friday. For uh, We're going to be looking at Psalms chapter 85. Uh, but before we dive into our text today, let's go through our memory verse. We'll be looking at Romans chapter 12, verses 18 and 19. Uh, I will tell you, I've personally uh, just started really loving Matthew. I mean, Romans chapter uh, 12, verse number 18, uh, because of Brother Bob Billingsley. Uh, he has often quoted this verse. Uh, in fact, I would tell you, I think that it's one of his uh, life verses, um, that this uh, scripture is such a powerful verse. And so uh, here I go. I'm going to try to do the memory verse. So uh, let's see how I can do at it. If it is possible, with all that depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourself, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. All right, there you go. Uh, and those, those are two great verses, but... Um, Let's now dive into Psalms chapter 85. Now, Psalms 85, I've broke down into four different categories. I'm going to talk about each one of those. Uh, but please, as you study this, know that this was probably written whenever uh, Israel had been let go out of the captivity of Babylon. So they, they're now out of captivity. Uh, and this Psalms was, would have been during that time, uh, right after that. The first uh, kind of section, I have titled it Praise, uh, and you'll just hear the praise that is coming out. And if you read verse 1, it says, Lord, you have <clears throat> been favorable to your land. You have brought back the captivity of Jacob. You brought them back. You're out of captivity. And so they've been set free. It says, you have forgiven the iniquity of your people. You have covered all of their sin. You have taken away all of your wrath. In fact, I'll tell you, whenever I read that, I was reminded of us, uh, how we once were sinners. We were captive. We uh, held captive to bondage to sin. And by the blood of Christ, all of our sin has been forgiven. Uh, and all of the wrath of God has been taken away from us because of what Christ has done for us. And so the first section there is praise. The, now, verses 4 through 7 uh, I have talk, titled those Ask, uh, and so you'll see that there's an ask that goes on, and what is uh, being asked here? It's to be restored, and so if you look at verse number four, restore us, O God, uh, of our salvation, uh, and they're wanting to be restored back to the way that it was before they were in captivity, and so uh, verses four through seven, that's what you see. Then verse uh, eight and nine, I've called this Wait. Uh, and so the psalm says here in verse number eight, I will hear what God the Lord will speak. He's going to wait on God. Folks, there are times whenever we are in prayer and you're asking for something, there are times that you just have to wait and hear what God has to say uh, to you. So uh, that's what happens here in verses eight and nine. And then verses 10 through 12, I've titled those uh, Acknowledgement. Uh, and you'll see this acknowledgement. I love, love the picture in verse number 10. It says, mercy and truth have met together. And then it says, righteousness and peace have kissed. I think that's just a beautiful picture of those four. Uh, mercy, truth, righteousness, and peace all coming together. Uh, and he's acknowledging this. You look at verse number 12. It says, yes, the Lord will give what is good. That reminded me of what Brother Ron's uh, text was yesterday in verse number 11. It says, No good thing will he withhold for those who walk uprightly. God wants to bless us. He wants to give us what is good. It said it in yesterday's passage. It says it in today's passage. Folks, you are a child of God, and he wants to bless you and give you what is good. I do want to point out the very last line in verse number 13 where it says, and shall make his footsteps our pathway. God's footsteps are our pathway. And so he's gone before us uh, and whatever is going on in your life, and he is setting the path for you. What a, what a beautiful picture it is that God has done for us. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy uh, the study of Psalms chapter 85. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday, God willing, uh, and you have a blessed day.